Welcome back to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at my favourite deals across the Switch eShops, covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. A thank you then to Gravity Games who were kind enough to sponsor this week's video with Ragnarok Origin. We'll talk about that a little later in the video though, so with that like hit subscribe if you love the Switch, as much as we all do here, join our growing family and let's get started. As always then I do have two winners to announce for two $10 eShop gift cards later in the video and two more to give away. Now all you need to do to enter, drop a comment down below and the winners they'll be announced in next week's video. Keeping this week simple then as well on the deals front, 10 games, all of them new low prices. Jurassic World Evolution Complete Edition then is a game I reviewed here on the channel. You'll find that video in the pinned comment down below, but it's here rocking 55% off a new low price. Now it's from the team that created Roller Coaster Tycoon, and they basically took that formula and mashed it together with the Jurassic Park universe, and it works together perfectly. Think here though, less roller coaster creation, more dinosaur breeding and building kind of containment units. Seriously addictive those formulas go hundreds of hours of gameplay potentially, it packs three sizable DLC packs and even features vice work from Jeff Goldblum, that definitely adds some serious credibility. Overcooked All You Can Eat bundles together then both entries as well as all of prior DLC and some exclusive features as well. The big addition though in this bundle, it's gotta be online play for the first entry, a game that was previously local only. Content wise though it's impressive, all the DLC as I said and then new exclusives including kitchens and chefs for this version of the game only. All the modes then you would expect from campaign through to survival and it's even had some extra accessibility options added as well. It's a new low price then with 40% off and few games can match this kind of manic multiplayer style as you work together but just end up kind of screaming at each other. Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tazos then is for the indie fans out there. It comes from Team 17, it's a co-op, local or online action adventure game. It has that kind of top down, almost Souda style to it all and the idea here is simple. Battle it out in procedurally generated dungeons and explore this world. Story wise then, evil has awoken and you've been drafted by a goddess who basically made a plea for help. I picked this one up myself in a previous sale and it was well worth it. It's worth it even more now though with 40% off. A shout out then to this week's sponsor Gravity Games with upcoming release Ragnarok Origin for iPhone and Android. This one it's bringing the world of MMO RPG Ragnarok Online to phones and you'll find yourself in a world that's filled with monsters so think here, whole lot of exploration, quests and of course battling it out. Throwing then though customization, different classes and yeah there should be a decent chunk of gameplay here to keep you busy. You'll even be recruiting and building up a band of mercenaries that can be trained and evolved to basically aid you in this world. I love the anime visual style they went for though, we saw a beta test which received some really positive feedback and yeah I'm excited to see what they bring to the table. I'll be jumping in myself as a swordsman to kick things off. Head to the website though to learn more, it's got the story, the classes, the different locations you'll visit and while you're there make sure to sign up, pre-register so you can get all the updates around the upcoming grand launch. You can access all of this through my link in the pinned comment down below and for your time you'll even be entered for a chance to win a Tesla Model S, so yeah they've definitely gone big. Thanks again to Gravity though for sponsoring today's video with Ragnarok Origin. Also from Team 17 then the Survivalist Deluxe Edition and find my review for this one below in the pinned comment but I love this game. Takes the survival genre, throws it into a pixel top down style, gives you islands to explore, boats to craft and allows you to play with up to 4 players online that was my personal go to. It's just really entertaining because it's going to have you crafting, collecting resources, battling enemies and exploring dungeons and where it's smart it's a little easier than most in the genre, there's no permadeath or hunger meters or you know any of that kind of hardcore stuff. 40% off though is worth it and the deluxe edition in the name it throws in some minor cosmetic DLC that is attached to an extra side quest. If you check out my review though that is all multiplayer like video footage. Taho Lunar Nights then is a solid little metroidvania that I picked up recently and I was impressed so I wanted to give it a shout out with this new low of 33% off. I was actually new to the series but my understanding is there's already been a fair few entries, most of them kind of bullet hell and that would probably be my main warning here. Story wise I struggled to really understand so maybe a few recap videos first to kind of get you up to speed. The gameplay though it's really solid as you have some great attacks and the spin here you can actually 
slow down time and change time as well which is where the puzzle gameplay comes in. Expect then along the way upgrades to progress and the visuals they are stunning. It's short though for the genre just as a final warning it's right around 6 hours. Alright so probably a little controversial here but Zombies Ain't My Neighbours and also Ghoul Patrol. Full transparency, played through Zombies, got bored with Ghoul, it's just not as strong but if you like your old school and you want to revisit what is a classic, this is a good price with a new low of 33% off. The problem for most with this port was it's just about as lackluster as they come honestly, it deserved better treatment. It also had a slightly unusual controller configuration that you could not change, that was a real miss on the devs part. With so many good tributes coming out though, it for sure deserved better. Still though, like Zombies, it's a fun top down adventure game and one many of us no doubt grew up with, I mean I still have my original copy to this day. Ghosts and Goblins at Resurrection then, it went a little more out there with its effort which I do respect and it worked in some areas, not so much in others. First of all, as you would expect, incredibly difficult so do be warned of that. I will say though here it at least has like a few little assists that do help you. The fairy tale presentation then, for sure suits the series but I'm still not sold on the visual style itself or the animation at times. It looked amazing at others. I just wasn't all that impressed, it looked even, I'd say, cheap. If you like hardcore action platforming though, check it out, it's basically a mashup of Ghosts and Goblins and then also Ghouls and Ghosts, so you'll recognise some areas and maybe not the others. A new low price then, a 33% off though, gonna say still not particularly cheap. So our first winner of the week then it's going to Savage Jiren who highlighted Cardaclism looks like fun. That was actually my pickup last week, still haven't played enough to report back just yet so hopefully that'll be in maybe Thursday's video before the sale is up. It looks decent though from what I've seen this far. Congrats so Savage, drop me an email to claim your code, you'll find that in the description down below. And everyone else, I've got a second winner coming up here shortly in the video. So my pickup of the week then, meaning can't recommend it, maybe you want to join me for the ride though, that is Corpse Party, a new release with a launch discount of 10% off, that is not huge I know but heard about this game for so long now, years it seems, it's just got this cult following, so the second I saw it was on the eShop I had to grab it. A horror adventure game, you're a cast of high school students exploring this school from what is a top down viewpoint with a big focus on story, though it almost seems like mini visual novel segments included. Exploring this alternate reality though, looking forward to jumping into this one, it's been long overdue. So our penultimate game of the week then, Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighbourville Complete Edition. It's here with a new low of a monster 70% off. Great discount, great port as well. Think third person, PvP battles and single player story modes as well with a ton of skills, characters and customization. Looks fantastic, runs at around 30 frames per second with some fluctuation but I honestly thought it was fine, there's no crossplay here so we all kind of get that same experience. I jumped online today just to check it all out and multiplayer is still active and the single player alone is worth it in itself. Check out my review then in the pinned comment down below. So our second winner of the week then for our final game of the week it's going to Eric who highlighted Knights and Bikes, awesome game, deserves more love and the visuals with that one they are just absolutely stunning. Comes highly recommended from me though so definitely take a look. Congrats then Eric, drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else drop a comment down below for your chance to win in next week's video. Alright so our final game of the week then, Lost in Random, this is a game I played recently when I went back home to see the family in the UK and it was a real nice surprise. It's coming from EA but it still very much feels like an indie and it throws you into a world I'd describe as that kind of Tim Burton-esque style. The idea though you live in a world ruled by this kind of tyrannical queen and all decisions are made at the roll of a dice. A few opening events occur though and it leads to your sister being taken, now you set out to save her. Think exploration, minor puzzles and a really unique combat system set around real time but also then card deck management. Did get a bit burnt out on the combat towards the end game but in the end I hope it gets a follow up of some sort because it's a really unique world. A new low price then of 17% off. And that's another week down, will you be adding anything to the library this week or are you holding onto that cash? I know many of you will be holding out for the no doubt huge Black Friday sales and I'm hoping for some big things this year. With that though a shout out to the patrons of the channel who are just going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. It helps more than you know so thank you all so much. Then hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.